What's good, everybody, man? What's going on? It's your boy, Vlogging with Greg, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. Back on this thing once again with Samson, man. Hey, this one won the votes, so this is the one we're going with, man. 46 equals 13. Real interesting in finding out what, the, what this one here is about, man, because uh, y'all told me this one here is a real good one, so... I believe y'all. I believe y'all. So we're going to go ahead on and check this one here out. But before we get into this video, man, go ahead on and hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on the order where you know every time your boy then drop another video. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all want to see. We're going to get into it. Don't forget to hit that like button for sure, man. So that being said, 46 equals 13. I want to know why. Let's get it, man. <sighs> I love high gas prices. I love paying more for groceries. And I really love seeing taxes rise. It's so good knowing that I'm giving more but receiving less. It makes me feel humble. But I'm going to stop with the sarcasm right there. Because I swear we're living in a real jungle. It's what? Pretty simple to me, though. It's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affecting in daily life. Is it yeah. easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first. Because life is a bitch already as it is. And you don't need someone that's going to make it worse. Ask me. Huh, I think. Facts. I like that. <laughs> I like that. But the the sarcasm at the, at the beginning, yeah, that was tight. That was tight. Because he's pretty much... Making it seem like, well, people be making it seem like it's okay. Like, they they just all right with the way things is going. Nah. Nah. First of all, gas is too damn high. It, is, it just, it's too high. There's no way you should be paying $3 for regular gas. Not super. Regular. Yeah. Uh, not, not, uh, uh, that I'm, I'm not with that. <laughs> I'm not with that at all, man. And the cost of living is just crazy. Like, especially like he said with the food, it's ridiculous. It, it really is. It's really ridiculous. Yeah. I, I feel where he coming from with that. I, I don't agree with that. And it, it yeah. <laughs> Simple to me though, it's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected in daily life. Is it easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first. Cause life is a bitch already as it is, and you don't need someone that's gonna make it worse. Ask me? Huh, I think we're fucked. Don't give me that look. Everything sucks. Have you gone outside? Have you been to the store? Have you compared the prices to a year before? Do you drive <laughs> a car? Have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me now, it sucks ass. You could brush it off like it's a fucking joke, but the media lies, numbers don't. Who you Oh oh yeah, numbers don't lie. <laughs> no, numbers do not lie, especially if you know what you're doing with them. So, yeah, like he said, and the same thing I was, I was agreeing with him on what he was saying too. Like, it's everything is too high right now. It, it really is too high. But he admitted it that we 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 screwed. We we are screwed. Like it's not it, it it's not even nothing to even hide or none of that, man. It's just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he is telling the truth, man. He definitely telling the truth. I think we're fucked. Don't give me that look. Everything sucks. Have you gone outside? Have you been to the store? Have you compared the prices to a year before? Yeah. Did you drive a car? Have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me now. It sucks ass. You could brush it off like it's a fucking joke, but the media lies. Numbers don't. Well, you can't blame Biden. It isn't him. Well, who the fuck is it then? What jacked up the prices? I want to know why I spend so much up at Conoco. I don't know. Mm. I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame because the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck. I'm just saying. Now watch. Down in the I applaud him. I applaud him. Yeah. Like, I've heard other things people say about, you know, the difference in what they see, but I've never looked at it like this. That, that's why I like these independent singers and rappers, man. They, they're not scared to put you up on game and tell you what's really going on and open your eyes to different things. I like that, man. It's just, you ain't got no choice but to feel where he coming from. Like, people that actually living it and going through it, 
I mean, they, they, they feel where you coming from. Like, I feel where he coming from. And like he said, that, that the leader of this country, yeah, yeah. Everything is just jacked up from prices on down. Well, who the fuck is it then? What jacked up the prices? I want to know why I spend so much up at Conoco. I don't know. I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame because the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck. I'm just saying. Now watch. Down in the comment section, someone's going to give us an economy lesson. I can't wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance. Right. It's part of the process. What the hell are you bitching for? It's fine. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. What a fucking steal. Too bad I spent more on gas just to get the target so by the time i got done buying all this shit and filling up my car i had way less than when i started mm. now i don't really call that saving no. no i call that losing money it doesn't take a genius to do simple math but apparently you can't so who's the dummy oh I'm just pissed off <laughs> this inflation's fucked. hey bro i like this dude man <laughs> dude hey bro he speaks his mind he speaks his mind and for those out there that don't agree with him hey bro Time to open your eyes, man. You gotta open your eyes and see what's really going on. Even if you do see it and you just defending that guy, hey, bro, you got way more problems. You're putting more stress on yourself. That's all you're doing. You're putting more stress on yourself trying to defend somebody that's that's messing over you at the same time. I mean, he don't care. He really don't care. I don't really call that saving, no I call that losing money It doesn't take a genius to do simple math, but apparently you can't, so who's the dummy? I'm just pissed off, this inflation's fucked up But I gotta sit here and act like I love this administration with a thumbs up? Stupid, everything is hell but you act like I'm supposed to be in heaven You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle House will start to close at 11 uh, I barely talk and don't Yeah, yeah, and... <laughs> Right, y'all already know Waffle House is the place to go, especially wee hours of the morning. That is the number one place to go, bro. It is like I don't care if you're drunk, you're just out and about, you're at home, you just feel like eating something. It's, go to Waffle House. You know that the Waffle House is is one place that you is supposed to depend on to go to get something to eat. Not no more. It ain't like that no more. Stupid. Everything is hell, but you act like I'm supposed to be in heaven. You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle House start to close at 11. Yeah. Dude, he can barely talk and don't act like I'm being overzealous. Every time the man speaks, I have no fucking clue what he's trying to tell us. Nope. Right. His speech is like a gag reel. Every time I see the shit, I'm like, is that real? Well, considering <laughs> the fact that the only other option was Trump, I don't think it's such a bad deal. Fuck that. I want a strong leader. The strength of a man should be constantly tested, especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world. That should be not even a question. Right. There's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing dude but the crazier part is there's still people you need to sit down and really explain this to mm -hmm. just watch the press conference you'll see that joe is all gone he literally says out loud that he has a list of people he's supposed to call on and even then he fucks that up the whole thing is hella awkward COVID 19 ain't his biggest enemy what is it? it's the goddamn teleprompter it feels like <laughs> we don't even have a leader nope. it's like we're all just <laughs> following blindly each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate and they're almost 90. look at him <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it from me. Go listen to him. It's not a rumor. You gotta, I mean, the... T -t 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 Today, Junior! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, bro. The worst speaker I have ever heard in my life. Worse. The worst. Like, how you go so hard trying to be a leader for your country? But you talk to where nobody understands you. Like, nobody knows what you even trying to say, where you trying to go with the conversation, because you lose them at the beginning of your sentence. I mean, I, it's way too much stuttering. Like, way, way too much stuttering, bro. It, too much confusion in his mind. That, that, I don't know. We don't even have a leader. It's like we're all just following blindly. Each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate, and they're almost 90. Look at him. Don't take it from me. Go listen to him. It's not a rumor. You gotta, I mean, the... 
today, Junior. Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out the like and the dislike ratios. That should prove to you that no one likes him. I don't agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. Hmm. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan pretty much sums it up. What a dumb. I, I, I was I wasn't I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't. I it, I didn't know he can switch it up like that. <laughs> That's good. He got different types of styles. I like that. I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan pretty much sums it up. Yeah. What a dumb adult. My stomach does somersaults when I think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking gall. Then he goes to That was messed up. That was that that was effed up, bro. I yeah. There's a lot of people that don't agree with that. That was totally out of line right there. Totally out of line, bro. And I mean, is there anything being said or done about it? Like, nah, nah, that totally un unacceptable right there. I think Afghanistan pretty much sums it up. What a dumb adult. My stomach does somersaults when I think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking gall. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be. I swear the disrespect doesn't stop. Pick your fucking head up. Look at the women and men you killed. I don't understand how anyone could even defend you still. And if they do, they either don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to themselves because they know damn well you're a problem now. Pulling out was a good choice. Not the way you did it though. Kamala probably sitting there like oh my god we did it joe <laughs> hey that one almost slipped by me almost slipped by me pulling out is a good idea but like that at that time it wasn't like if y'all know what he mean by pulling out i mean we all adults here we know what he talking about but yeah that but to pull out that that he did yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the right time. No. Killed. I don't understand how anyone could even defend you still. And if they do, they either don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to themselves because they know damn well you're a problem now. Pulling out was a good choice. Not the way you did it, though. Kamala's like probably this. sitting there like, oh, my God, we did it, Joe. Speaking of her, where she been through all these deadly days? As soon as shit erupts and hits the fan, Kamala's MIA. Not like she does anything anyway. So fucking useless. Law and order, crisis at the border. She don't fucking do shit. Uh. Just a talking head paired up with the walking dead. Breaking absolutely every word that was promised or said every time i see their faces on tv it's such a bummer i feel like i'm watching the third installment of dumb and dumber and <laughs> on top of all that they put another ban on ammo trying to disarm americans but equip the taliban like rambo you give them hundreds of thousands of military guns but americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones you put more trust in a terrorist organization than you do in your own people you don't care about this nation fuck you that's for me fuck you that's from them fuck you from everyone Everyone that's still stuck in Afghanistan. Ooh, okay. Hold on, Samson. Boy, Samson is letting out them feelings right now, man. Ooh, hey. <laughs> Boys gotta be heard, man. Boys gotta be heard. Burden put it out there first. Now I'm hearing it from him. Ain't scared to speak on it, bro. Ain't scared to speak on it. Man, hey, I'm feeling that. Every F you he speak out or yell out, I'm feeling it. You could tell it's coming straight from his soul. Straight from it. Nowhere else. But Americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones. You put more trust in a terrorist organization than you do in your own people. You don't care about this nation. No. Fuck you. Yeah. That's from me. Fuck you. That's yeah. from them. Fuck you. From yeah. everyone that's still stuck in Afghanistan. Fuck you. From the men and women who died for this country. And fuck you for every time you lie to cover up something. You blame this on Trump. How the fuck is this even his fault? You're in charge now. Not him. That's just your default. Whenever something goes wrong, you flip and say he did it. But whenever something goes right, you're quick to take the credit. You undid almost all of Trump's agreements by your second day. So why is this one of the only fucking things you left in place? No crosses to bear, no responsibilities. Just chocolate, chocolate chip to ease your mental instability. <laughs> I would say the blood's on your hands, but that's a lie. Because you don't even know where the fuck you are half the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man 
Hey. <laughs> oh, man, boy said, you don't even know where you at half the time. Mine gone. Mine is gone. Like, bro, you swear that dude is on something. Like, something that he ain't supposed to be on. Illegal substance. Put it that way. Like, hey, I never understand what that dude trying to say. Never know what he's trying to talk about. Nothing. Nothing at all, man. At all. Big shout out to Samson for that one there, man. Hey, things need to be said, and he ain't scared to say it. Putting it out there. I like that, man. Dude. Hey, bro. Rap game is serious. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I love it, man. I love it, man. Like I said, big shout out to Samson for this one here. 46 equal 13. I love it, man. I love it. Y'all get in the comment section. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this one. Obviously, y'all love it because y'all been <laughs> y'all was telling me to do that one. I'm glad I did it. Glad I did it, man. Thank y'all. Appreciate it, man. If you ain't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell on all the way. You know every time you're bored and drop another video, another banger like this one, of course. Hit that like button on your way out of here, man. This is your boy vlogging with Greg and I'm